Hey guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. We are playing with something called Lip Ink, which the name kind of says it all in my opinion. It is supposed to be a stain that is completely 100% smudge proof. They emphasize that nothing is taking this off or smudging it or anything like that until you choose to take it off. So I am definitely gonna put this to like really crazy test. I'm gonna go and work out, I'm gonna, make out with James. I'm just going to really see if this is absolutely smudge proof like they say it is. So this is what the product looks like. I haven't even opened it up. Um, oh, oh, oh. Shh. They told me when I bought this that you don't want to tip it upside down. In here it's very, very watery and I tried it on the back of my hand, actually tried it. I tried like 50 shades on the back of my hand and you can layer and mix and match and they have everything from like really deep berries to red, which is what we're trying today, to pink, to nude. I don't know, if this works out, I might try more colors. I did get a pink one as well, just to kind of play with. I don't know, this whole concept is kind of crazy to me, but that's what OMG Tuesday is all about. They have a specific way that you are supposed to use this product and you cannot use other products with it. It is designed to be choreographed together. You cannot just go in and purchase this one item. It's a whole kit and the kit is what makes the product work. Honestly, it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot, but if this is going to give me really long lasting lipstick that is not going to dry my lips out the way a lot of liquid matte lipsticks do, which they also claim that. They claim that it is not going to do anything bad to your lips so long as you use these steps in order of what they recommend. It also doesn't have any nasty chemicals. When I was picking this product up, they have like a little television little thing that shows you step by step how to use it. And it was like, no tar, no carcinogens, no this and that. And you're like, wait, what? And then you're watching and it's like, the average woman will eat four pounds of wax in her lifetime wearing lipstick. And James shoots a look over to me and he's like, you're not the average woman. You're like doubling that number. And I'm like, ew. I'm like, I don't want to think about that. But sometimes you do kind of have to think about that stuff. So it is a nice big added bonus that this is a very natural product. It is a vegan product. There are no animal derived ingredients. So let's just get started. We're gonna go ahead and take the lip ink off. This is also what you would use when you want to remove this product. And let me tell you, nothing else takes it off. I had my whole hand swatched up and I took straight olive oil and was like, it was not coming off. I had to use this. So it is important that you have their little kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, get this on my mouth. Feels a little bit soapy. Um, and then they say to splash your face with some water. Well, we're definitely not doing that because I got about four layers of makeup on that I don't wanna destroy. Now I'm just gonna pat with water. I feel like this whole step is just to make sure that you don't have any moisturizer, lip product, foundation, whatever else, so you don't have anything on the lip that's gonna get in the way of the pigment and everything binding with your lips. At least that's what I'm assuming. Okay, so you do get in the little kit this teeny tiny lip wand that is going to perform as your lip liner. I do want to line my lips, so it kind of feels a little bit out of order, but you line your lips before you put the hydrator that goes underneath the full application. So we're going to do that now. It smells like a shot of alcohol. Um, okay, so I'm picking up my lip ink. I'm getting the excess off the sides. This stuff is pretty potent. really hoping that that is straight. This is really intimidating because you feel like if I screw up 
it's not gonna come off. Um, okay, so now they tell you to take the waxless shine moisturizer. So it says feel the tingle. I don't know if I want to feel the tingle, but um, I'm gonna feel some tingling. And I'll tell you how it goes. It smells like nothing, just nothing. That's fine by me. I really wish that I could have a sexy face applying lipstick, but I end up looking like this every time when I edit. I'm like, I need to work on that. I feel like Miranda sings when I do that. I'm bringing sexy back. Nope, my lips feel very hydrated. I am not sensing any tingling currently, so I am a-okay with that. I don't know if I'm supposed to wait until this like absorbs into my lips a little bit or if I'm supposed to like go straight into the lip ink itself. I should have asked that when I was there. Okay, it does say to shake this up. So shake it, shake, shake it, shake it, shake, shake it. And then it says to get the excess off on the edge. I'm going in with the shade number one, red. And they also mentioned to make sure that you are using swiping motions, that you're not going back and forth, but you are just going I'm like, not that you'd make that noise. That you are just going in one direction, one direction. And typically with liquid lipsticks, that's actually the best way to apply them without them getting patchy. And then you wait for them to dry and you add another layer. Now with this, you can add up to three layers. You wait for it to dry so you can mix and match different colors, custom create a color. I think that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna use red and we're gonna start with one layer and see how it looks and go from there. So let's do this. Oh my God, it burns. <laughs> I'm letting it dry. I kind of freaking like it. Did you know that Marilyn Monroe wore three shades of red at a time sometimes? I don't know why I was watching a thing about that and I found that so intriguing and that's the only thing running through my head with this is I'm like I bet I could do like one layer of red on the bottom and then I could do a different layer of red and then another layer of lighter red in the center these are the things that I think of okay so this has dried down it does surprise you when you put this on it does give you a little bit of a sting and it's just a weird sensation it goes away really quickly I am going to take another dip and do another layer and start on the top once again, just to kind of intensify the color, but I do really enjoy this shade. It's really, really pretty. Um, is it just me or is this totally freaking gorgeous? So my lips do feel a little bit dry. Um, Nothing, nothing you guys, look. Wow, that's really neat. I kind of dig it. All right, so then you're gonna put on more of the shine gloss just to give it some hydration once you've reached the color that you desire. And I feel like this is enough. I'm really happy with the color. So let's get some high shine. It says that you can leave the high shine top coat on for a very shiny finish, but to still use this if you want a matte finish, just blot the excess off and that you can retouch your lips if they feel dry throughout the day with the top coat. And we're gonna see if this wears beautifully just like this smudge proof smear proof throughout my day so i am definitely going to do a bunch of check-ins and we will see after i drink drinks eat food kiss james work out etc do my whole day how well this red lip holds up because for me i love a red lip but something that i hate 
is how fussy it can be and you're worried if it's getting on your teeth. You're worried that it's smearing on your face. Um, for me, this is such a weird one, but I have a habit of like my hair getting in my face and it'll do this business and it will actually take some of the lipstick and I will have like a stripe on my face. Anyone else? Has that happened to you? That happens to me all the time where I'll look in the mirror and I'm like, whoa, there is red or pink or whatever I'm wearing like on my cheek. Nice. So something like this to me is really appealing because it won't do that. Or at least we hope it won't do that. Let's figure it out. So far, I think it is a lot of steps. It is a really time consuming thing to put it on more so than just swiping on your lipstick. But if you need something to hold and stay put, I think it can be a good thing and worth the extra effort. The other drawback was it does sting. It really does tingle and it smells like crap. I'm just not even gonna like candy coat it at all. The scent of it is very strong. It does kind of smell like you're about to take like a giant shot of vodka. It's just a very strong alcohol scent. Um, but if you can get over those two things, I think this looks really fantastic. I'm amazed. I mean, that is really, really cool. So, and I like the fact that it is all natural as well. All right, mm, there we have it. We are going to go about, we are, I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I will check in with you guys in a little bit. This red lip is gorgeous and it's kind of just taking over everything right now. I like it a lot. Puka likes it too. Transfer no transfer. Puka. No transfer. Nice. No transfer. No transfer. That is so kind of cool. So something that I want to point out that I'm noticing right now is when I drink from my Starbucks straw, nothing. Like no red. No red. It's pretty cool. So far, I'm really enjoying this. I think it's a pretty color. It has stayed put. I like it. And I like that it's natural. Natural. Not natural looking, natural, <laughs> natural <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> I woke up like this. Natural ingredients, that's what I meant. Okay, I'll check in again in a little bit. Can I just say, this red lip is ridiculous. It is past nine o'clock now, and it is still going so strong. It's awesome. Thumbs up. Look, no transfer. No transfer. There's no transfer at all. No transfer. No transfer. <laughs> I will grab this. And I spy James with the basket just in time. It's freezing in here. It's so cold. I need my winter jacket. I'm always so cold. Everywhere I go in California, it's like super hot outside. You live in that And sweater. then, yeah, and then I get inside and the AC is like pumping, so I'm just like, oh my God, why? Yeah. But you know what's really good? What? My freaking red <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> so good. I am so surprised by how much I love this product. The only thing that I am hoping for right now is that it comes off easily and that I don't wake up tomorrow feeling like, oh my God, my lips are super, super dry. I will definitely update you as soon as I can. I'm gonna try out Pink High tomorrow. So if you want, follow me on Snapchat, Tati Westbrook. I am gonna put this one to the test to see two days in a row if I can get away with wearing this because this might be my new favorite thing in the world. I am blown away, genuinely blown away. Paid for this product myself. This is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. And I think this is a genius, genius product and I cannot believe that more people are not talking about this. I know that liquid lipsticks and matte liquid lipsticks are a big, huge hype, a big, huge trend. I mean, there's no, it's the exact same kind of matte really bold, really beautiful kind of liquid matte lip, but there is no crackling. Like I can go like this and there's none of those lines where the product actually crackles off. You know what I'm talking about. There are some liquid lipsticks out there that do that. It's my big pet peeve. It drives me absolutely insane. The other thing that's crazy, you can eat, you can drink, you can kiss, you can be in water, you can do whatever you want in the world. And this stuff does not 
I mean, <laughs> that probably looked really ridiculous, but like nothing, nothing. It's crazy. Is that not insane? I can't. Okay, so we're gonna take this off and it has been about, oh my gosh, it's like 10 o'clock right now. So I have had this on for nine hours. That's bananas that it still looks like this. I didn't have to touch it up once. I actually was out and about and I didn't take the hydrating shine with me. So I didn't even touch that up. It was just like, just like this. Um, so let's see how easily this removes and that will be the final thing that we will test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that does not taste very good. All right, so clearly there is a struggle to take it off, but you know, I did go in with like the most intense color possible. So I feel like a lot of the product is off, but it definitely left behind quite the stain. I usually use an oil or a balm cleanser before actually foam cleansing my skin. I double cleanse is my point. So I'm sure by the time I am done with my skincare routine that it will have settled down a little bit. I'm not going to say this is a drawback. I'm okay with it. I'm actually fine with my lips having a little bit of leftover color. It's not a huge deal. The thing that drives me insane when you're removing a liquid matte lipstick is when it stays behind and you have like little crumbles of the product. This is like completely smooth and clean. So I'm okay with that. What else did I want to say? Oh, I didn't even tell you guys how much these little puppies are. So you do need the kit. I want to emphasize that. You do want to have the special remover. There is no shortcut about that. I tried. Oil's not going to get rid of it. You want to have the special remover so that the product itself does work. And uh, the kit is $67.44. You get the remover, you get the shine, and you get the lip product itself. If you want to add on colors, the individuals are $21.99. That is up there. But if you think about how you're not reapplying it over and over and over, I think it's worth the price. I, again, I'm surprised by how impressed I was. I thought it was gonna be extremely drying, really uncomfortable, that it would fade, that it would transfer a little bit, and I was proven wrong. So you guys are probably gonna see this on my channel more and more because I like it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if there are other strange, interesting, intriguing products out there that you want me to put to the test. I love it when you guys give me recommendations and I hope you're having a wonderful day, whatever you are doing. I'm sending you so much love and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah. Ow, mother. Do not put this on your lips without the moisturizer base. It burns. Yes. I just forgot the order of operation here. They mean freaking business when they say you have to have all three items. <laughs> my mouth just fell off of my face, but I'm still alive. Stop. I want you to try it. Tati, step away from the makeup. Never. Step away from the makeup. Nee, 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 nee. Mmm, so much better. Is that the moisturizer? Ugh, I'm moisturized now. So moisturized now. That burned like crazy, horrible. Don't do that. This was a 10 product. I'm kicking it back to a 9, even though it was my own dang stupidity that caused it. You're in that. I am? Yeah. In the most flattering way. At least I'm a sparkly, well-highlighted, sculpted nut, James. <laughs> hey, have you signed off this video yet? Yes, I have, James. <laughs> Tell everyone bye-bye. But I'm just going to continue talking to the camera, James. Mwah. Mwah.